Hi everyone, this is AmSwim40 from AngryBirdsNest.com. Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use a program called DiskAid to back up and transfer your Bad Piggies progress. This works between any iOS devices, so that's iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. To do so requires a program, like I said, called DiskAid. I have it right here on my desktop. If you'd like to get DiskAid, you can go to this website. It's called digidna.net. Uh, right here you see DiskAid 5, and I believe they're coming out with a new version soon, so if you see DiskAid 6, don't get scared. Uh, DiskAid is available for both PC and Mac. It's completely free. Uh, at least the free version will allow you to do anything that I'm going to do in this tutorial and probably anything that you really need it to do. Uh, if you would like access to things like your music, your pictures, um, I think your contacts, things like that, you can do those in the paid version. I believe that costs twenty four ninety five. It's a worthwhile investment if you're going to do those sorts of things, but if you're primarily concerned with using this for backing up your Angry Birds or Bad Piggies progress, it might be overkill. Okay, so, let's go back. I'm going to open up DiskAid. I have my iPad plugged in right now. Uh, before you do anything with data files, it's always a good idea to go into iTunes and create a backup of your iOS device. I've already done that. So this is disk aid. This is my iPad connected. Uh, before you get going, one thing you want to check is your preferences. So go disk aid, preferences, and click on the advanced tag. And you want these top three options checked. You want to display all apps even if they don't have file sharing enabled. You want to show root path for all apps. And you want to show hidden files and folders. and you click save and it refreshes now to find bad piggies you want to go to apps here you'll see all your apps um, the names are a little bit abbreviated so you can see if you're playing around with your angry birds data files if you'd like to get that all of them just say angry birds but you can see the uh, icons next to them so you can see angry birds seasons this looks like space free Rio, Seasons Free, etc. But today we're concerned with Bad Piggies. So let's go down to Bad Piggies. Any data files that you're interested are located in the Documents folder. And here you see a whole bunch of files and a nice folder. So these files, Flurry, um, Initial Timestamp, those ones aren't of any concern to us. Those are kind of scrap files that are created by the app while you're playing. Uh, at a bare minimum, if you're looking to back up your progress, I would say progress.dat is the bare minimum. However, I would also encourage you to back up the files settings. If you're concerned about achievements, I would back that up as well. And if you want to keep track of the contraptions that you have made on any given level, I would grab the contraptions folder in its entirety as well. So we're going to take these files. Um, we're going to copy them into this folder that I've created on the desktop. So I'm going to right click and drag and I'm going to say copy. So that's an important note that I want to make always always copy don't use cut and paste don't delete the files don't just move the files you always want to copy them over and you always want to overwrite when you're going the other way Okay. so now I have my bad piggies folder here with all the information I need so I'm going to unplug my iPad and plug in my iPhone
and again I'll go into apps and go into bad piggies an important thing I want to say here is that you should have played at least one level on whatever device you're transferring into so I'm transferring to my iPhone again I've already backed it up on iTunes and you should go through and play at least one level just so these data files all exist and so long as those data files exist I'm going to select all of them from the folder on my desktop drag them into disk aid it gives me a warning that there's files with the same name since there's a lot of files I'm gonna say apply to all and yes I'd like to replace it doesn't normally take this long to copy over files but since I'm doing screen recording as well my computer's running a little slow and that's all you need to do now if I were to open up bad piggies and go to any random level it would look exactly the same on my iPhone as it does on my iPad you can also use this process to transfer between iOS and Mac uh, we include the file paths for Mac uh, in this post you can see I have bad piggies for PC I have that right here we include the location for the PC data files uh, that's also in this post but I'd like to note that you should not try to transfer between PC and iOS there's enough different here that some things will work but th some things will not so PC keeps track of things like whether or not you have the demo or the activated version of bad piggies your iOS information doesn't track that so you can lose your activation if you copy over your data from iOS into PC so that's an important thing to note that iOS and PC are different enough that you probably shouldn't mess around with transferring data files between those two platforms Okay, that's all everybody if you have any questions please leave a comment below and take care